All right, I ran across some uh, strange capacitors. Um, so I just thought I'd share them in case you ever run across them. So some of these I've seen before and some of these I haven't seen before. They seem, they seem pretty strange. Um, so this one, this one's not so strange, um, but we'll get back to that one. Um, let's start here. This one just looks like a normal chip capacitor. It looks like a ceramic chip capacitor. It looks like a real big one. Uh, it's only one microfarad and it's only 25 volts. <laughs> Yet it's about 12 millimeters square. So I, I don't know why it's so darn big. <laughs> that one, that one kind of has me puzzled. Uh, I don't, I don't know about that one. Um, yeah, it's an eerie capacitor. I don't know, one microfarad, 25 volts. I, I don't know if it's stable or I don't know why it's so darn, so darn big. Okay, so uh, the first one that caught my attention were these big ones here. These are, gosh, 15 millimeters long, and they're they're rectangular and they're and they're and they're and they're plastic. Um, so, yeah, they're 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 pretty weird. They're a Kemet. Uh, it says 22 microfarads at 35 volts. So pretty basic, but 22 microfarads. So they're in a plastic package. I mean, they look like a polypropylene or they look like something, right? So they they maybe they're tantalum. They're just a weird weird package. I've never ever never ever seen those before and the leg spacing is weird on the package too. They're not at the ends, which you would think. They're kind of bunched up in the middle. So yeah, that one's that one's very odd. Uh, let's see there's two of those. Um, 10%. I don't know, those are weird. Uh, and then here's one that's that's uh, very much like it. Uh, it it also is the same type of plastic. And uh, it's 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 rectangular, although it's smaller. It's only about uh, maybe seven millimeters. Um, same width, same width as the uh, same width as the other one. It's only 1.5 microfarads. So again, is it tantalum? 1.5 microfarads. It has a K on it, so I think that stands for Kemet. Um, so yeah, that, that that's a weird one. Never seen that before. It has the same the same spacing. So maybe that's they were standardizing on spacing. Uh, I, I I don't know. So I have, so I've never seen never seen any of these before, um, and I've never seen any of these before. Uh, these are a funny little package. They're they're kind of a D shape, so they have a flat on them, kind of like a, a, a if it was tiny, it would, it would look like a, a transistor TO ninety two package. But it's it's this weird. It's it's orange. That's kind of weird. Uh, one of these is 10 microfarads and one of these is 100 microfarads. Uh, 100 microfarads at 4 volts. <laughs> wow, not much there. And this one is, where's my, where's my loop here? Uh, this one's 10 microfarads at 25 volts. Uh, and they're both exactly the same size, so, so that's weird. I've, I've, I've never ever seen these before. Again, these are probably tantalum. Before they figured out you should make them dipped, they put them in these weird things. I don't know. I've never seen those before. All right. So here is a dipped tantalum. We have seen these before, but the only dipped colored ones I've ever seen were the little tiny ones. When they're this big, they just print on them. Uh, so this one's a 33 microfarad. So orange, orange blue uh, and so it's pretty normal and then it's got a it's got a red stripe on the side which says plus so very colorful uh, very very colorful LED I don't know whose flag that is so one of my viewers probably says hey we need that in Croatia or something I don't know some um, pretty nice uh, pretty nice colors okay um, let's talk about this one so this one, it looks just like a uh, ceramic capacitor as well. It's wide spacing. This one's good for 100 volts, so you know it has to be bigger. This one's 0.047 microfarads, so very, very common. But why does it have a polarity marker on it? Well, that's not a polarity marker on it. That is a marker that says, if this is a wrapped uh, type of device, there'll be an outer shield um, that you may want to know about. And so the outer conductor is marked with a, a stripe. Uh, Mr. Carlson talked about that once on one of his videos. Um, so if you have some type of circuit, uh, you, want to, you want to have this side on ground. 
and then the whole thing's kind of self-shielding, right? So that's what that stripe is for. Okay, so it leads us up to this one mystery capacitor. Um, it is real dark brown in color. It looks like a dipped mica. Uh, so when I first looked at it, I said, oh, it's a dipped mica, great. I'll just put it in my dipped mica drawer. And then I looked at it a bit closer and I said, oh, wait a minute, it's, it, it's, awful, it's awful fat. You know, it's five millimeters fat. And that's not, you You know, the, the other ones are kind of fat, but they're more dog bone shaped. This one's kind of just fat everywhere. Um, so I measured it. And lo and behold, this measures, believe it or not, 250 microfarads. 250. That's nuts. <laughs> um, and it's marked uh, 257, which is 250 microfarads. Where's my writing? It's on this side. Uh, it says 257 and 6M. I don't know what the 6M stands for. Um, so it must be also a diptanalum, I, I, would, I would guess, but 250 microfarads? I don't think I've ever seen a diptanalum that was 250 microfarads. So yeah, this is just a really weird capacitor. And it's got a little red dot on one side that tells you where the plus is. Um, yeah. That one's just super, super strange. So, so anyway, uh, that is my collection of weird capacitors for the day. So chime in on the comments. You know, have you seen these orange ones? Have you seen this weird, super, super high microfarad value dipped tantalum of one, some weird type? Uh, anybody knows why this one is so darn big? Has anybody seen these weird rectangular ones with the, with the scrunched in little legs? Really weird. Not everybody's seen that one. Uh, but yeah, these are, uh, these are really weird. And everybody's seen dip tantalums. Oh, it's a nice colored one. But these are the, these are the weird ones.